Hey guys, welcome. In this video I want to show you how easily it is you can upload your photography or design work and create puzzles like this. Um, especially in the last couple of months, puzzles have made a bit of a comeback. It's a great family entertainment um, tool, if you want to call it that. Uh, I personally love doing a puzzle, sitting around with the family trying to figure it out. It's good to get offline and uh, off devices and um, to, to figure it out uh, how to put together one a nice puzzle. Uh, before we get started, um, let me uh, please don't forget if you're new to the channel to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified of more uh, videos coming up soon. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to this website called zazzle.com.au or zazzle.com. I will uh, place all this information in the uh, description box. Then you create a new, you create an account. It's a free account, and what it is is it's basically uh, that's what allows you to apply your images to products like puzzles, water bottles, stickers, and so on and so on. They have over hundred plus products. You can apply your images and sell it online on their website, all for free. Um, obviously, they make their money when when one of your items gets sold. So for the uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to concentrate on the puzzles. Uh, it'll be another video I'll make regarding all the other products. So how I do is, is I go into the search, I type in puzzle, and then you, what you get is this, create your own. So you click on that. Then you see all the different uh, size puzzles. Uh, you get the 676 piece, you get the 1014 piece, and the 110 piece, and so on, and so on. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose the 110 piece, and this is the blank canvas. You want to call it that. Now you can either add a text, sorry, add an image or add a text. So I'm going to click on Add Image. It's going to take you into the editor. So here's my image I want to add. I'm going to click on it. I think it added twice. Yes, so I'm going to delete one. Now I want to fill the whole um, canvas. So what I want to do is I'm going to actually going to rotate it again and then I'm going to I'm going to hit the fill so it's going to fill the entire canvas that's it there that's my um, um, now I've added it in there a couple of things you can do in here in this editor is you can add a filter to the images um, and uh, you can make make objects permanent and wish um, always vis visible so this allows the customer to to basically this what that does is allow the customer to make enhancement or customize your product before they buy it, and that's pretty much it. So then you click on done, and it takes you back here. I'm going to click on the horizontal uh, version of it. So that's it there. Now I've got to add it to my store to be sold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the sell it button here. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call it um, Melbourne City at Night. It's obviously found out that it's um, you know it's part of the toys and games puzzles. So I'm going to click it a few times till it. Yep. So now it's in that category in the marketplace uh, of the entire Zazzle network. Give it a bit of a description. I'm going to, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to rush this through. City. Make sure I get that. Now, this here, I'm going to leave it at all options. What this means is when, the, when someone comes to buy this product, they have the option to choose the different sizes I showed you before, or if I can choose to only select as this one size. But I'm just going to keep it at all options. Then here, uh, I, I kind of look. You can leave this um, without any selection, but I will do the selection in here. I'm just going to choose other and recipient. Uh, I'm going to say for for everyone, for anyone. Sorry. And then here, you can select which store you want to add this product to. So I've got a few stores. I'm just going to add it to this one here, Movie Replicas. 
and then I'm going to change it into the category in there called games. Now I'm going to give it a few tags. Um, you can give it up to 10. So I'm going to call it Melbourne City Scape. Now you can only uh, add singular tags. So if I, for example, if I do Night uh, Landscape and click on tags, it'll separate the words. It won't add it as one phrase. Um, so again, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to rush this through. And leave it at that. I can always come back and edit that later. Then I'm going to, I'm going to choose G for general audience, visibility public, and um, show a customized button so, so so people can actually customize my product by adding their own text on top of the image um, to 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 their to their you know to their needs. I'm going to leave uh, the royalty percentage to the ten percent. So what happens is it's going to be sold at twenty eight ninety five twenty eight eighty five, and my profit is going to be two dollars eighty nine. Now it says here it'll probably take 24 hours for the image to appear in the store, uh, in your storefront. Um, I'm just going to choose the um, select, you know, agree to the user agreement and then click on post it. And that's pretty much it. And then you can use, this is the address where it'll end up being, uh, your store address, etc. This is not, not too you know, it just tells you that it's going to be up, uh, that you've added your product and it's going to be 24 hours before it appears in your store. So you, sometimes if you go in there, um, so if I want to go to my um, products, there it is there. Now, I've in my store, I've created a, a, a collection called Puzzles. So I'm just going to add that to, the, uh, to that collection. So I'm going to go Actions, Add to Collections. And click on puzzles. Now, so now it's been added to that collection. Now to view that. Now this, it may appear here, but it may not appear in that collection as yet because, it, like I said, it takes 24 hours for it to show up. So I'm just going to go to my store now and go to that collection I call games. Yep. So basically, it doesn't appear in here yet because it's going to. Like I said, it's going to take up to 24 hours for it to uh, to show up. So that's basically it, guys. I hope you got something out of it. I hope it's encouraged you to, you know, to use your designs or artwork to create puzzles um, and sell them online. Um, if you, I, I would love to see your your puzzle. So please don't forget to comment below. It will also help this video with engagement. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.